if you heat up a metal wire by passing a current through it, and if you do that in a vacuum, you will boil off uh, electrons, little negatively charged particles. And this process is called thermionic emission. You can, you can accelerate these electrons into a beam by accelerating them towards a positively charged anode. And that's called an electron beam, and it's used in many devices. This beam of electrons, also called a cathode a cathode ray, because the ray is coming from a cathode, this is the negatively charged hot wire, this can be deflected by applying an electric field to the area, to the region where the electrons are traveling. So here's my electron. Of course, there would be millions and millions of them in the beam. And I'm going to apply a, uh, an electric field by putting a plate above and below the path of the electron. Now, the, the top plate, let's say we're going to connect that to the positive of a power supply, of a voltage supply. So that's positive, and the bottom plate will connect to the negative. Now, you know that unlike charges attract. So the electron will experience a force attracting it to the top plate. And you know that like charges repel. So you've got another force repelling the electron away from the negative plate below. So the net result is a force upwards on the electron. And as it's moving very quickly to the right, it will describe a path looking something like this. And we've deflected the electron beam. So we can deflect an electron beam with an electric field. with an electric field. And this is called electrostatic attraction or repulsion. How could you detect the electron beam? So we can fill in this part here just for the moment. The electron beam is repelled by a negatively, negatively charged plate and attracted by a positively charged plate. And how can they be detected? How can these electron beams be detected? Well, the easiest way is to shoot them at a surface that's coated in a special material. Now, you can actually see electron beams as they hit glass, and the glass will glow a strange pinkish color. Uh, but you can also make the electron beam hit a screen called a zinc sulfide screen. sulfide and it's called a fluorescent screen fluorescent screen when an electron hits that substance you'll see a little flash of light and so a steady beam will result in a steady dot of uh, fluorescing light on the screen so that's the easiest way of detecting of detection of an electron beam using a fluorescent screen. This idea of deflecting an electron beam using an electric field, charged plates above and below, uh, is used in television sets, uh, the old style at least, and in cathode ray oscilloscopes, such as you might see in the physics lab. And a cathode ray oscilloscope has the electron beam generated here and the beam travels to the right through the anodes and then here we have the deflecting coils which can change the the trajectory of the electron beam and scan it across the screen so that we can detect voltages which vary with time so that's the cathode ray oscilloscope Ray oscilloscope. See you in the next flashcard.